Hi, today we're looking at equations of a tangent. Tangent to circle. We have a tangent AB. We have a circle with center O. Now I want to remind you of a theorem we've done in geometry that the tangent is perpendicular to the radius, which implies to us that the gradient of the radius times the gradient of the tangent is equal to minus 1. Practically, what we are saying is that they have negative inverse gradients. So we know OP is perpendicular to AB, and our re reason for that is radius is perpendicular to a tangent. So let's say, for an example, that the gradient of the radius OP is 3 over 4. This implies that the gradient of the tangent would be negative 4 over 3. If you take this gradient and multiply it by 3 over 4, we will get minus 1. Now remember, a tangent is a straight line. So the equation of a straight line is y minus y1, which is equal to m into x minus x1. We need two things for us to work out the equation of this tangent. We need the gradient of the tangent, which will go in here, and we need a point on the tangent. And we have three points at this stage in the tangent, A, P, and B. It all depends which point is given. And most of the time we will be given point P, which is our X1, Y1, which will go into the formula. Let's look at our first example. Find the equation of the tangent to the given circle, center O, at the point P. So we start off with the equation of the tangent. Remember, it is a straight line. We can also use y equal to mx plus c. So looking at the diagram, we have the center. We have point P. OP is our radius. So we're going to find the gradient of the radius. And if we find the gradient of the radius, we're using the gradient formula, y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So we're going to take negative 2 minus minus 5, that'll give us a plus 5, 1 minus 4, which we have in here. And you can use a calculator or quickly calculate it in your brain, which will be a negative 3 over negative 3, which is minus 1. Sorry, positive 3 over negative 3. So the gradient of the radius is negative 1. Now, how is that going to help us to find the gradient of the tangent? The gradient of the tangent is the inverse of negative 1, which is 1. And we have our reason that the radius is perpendicular to a tangent. Returning to the formula, the equation of a straight line. Now, this formula requires the gradient, which we already have, which is 1. We need a point on the tangent. We have point P, which is 4 minus 5 which will be our x1 and y1. We're going to substitute that in. y minus minus 5, which gives us a plus 5. The gradient, which is 1, into x minus 4. And if we simplify that, 1 times x is 1x. 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. We're then going to take our 5 to the other side. And we end up with y is equal to x minus 9 which is the equation of a tangent. Remember, a tangent touches the circle only once. Let's do one more example. Find the equation of the tangent to the circle. x plus 2 squared plus y minus 5 all squared is equal to 41. At the point, 3, 1. So from the equation of the circle, we can find the center negative 2, 5. Remember, we're trying to find the equation of the tangent. And here is our formula for a equation of a tangent. So we need two things. We need the gradient and we need a point. It seems that we have the point 3, 1. But we don't have the gradient. Let's try and understand what is given in this problem. So we have a circle. We found the center, negative 2, 5, from the equation. 
we also know that there is a point 3, 1, which is sitting on the tangent. So from here, we can find the gradient of the radius. And remember, if we find the gradient of the, the gradient of the radius, if we invert that and change the sign, we will get the gradient of the tangent, which goes in here. So let's quickly do that. The gradient of the radius using the gradient formula, that will give me 5 minus 1 divided by minus 2 minus 3, which you see here. And that is equal to negative 4 over 5. Therefore, the gradient of the tangent will be the inverse, which is 5 over 4. We're going to take the tangent, the gradient of the tangent, and we're going to put it in here for m. And we're going to take this point, and we're going to substitute it into the equation. So we have y minus 1. We're getting the 1 from the point. And we have the gradient, 5 over 4, which we worked out, which is, and then we are substituting the negative 3 from this point. And if we simplify that, we will end up with y equal to 5 over 4x minus 11 over 4. We have to multiply the 5 over 4 into the x and into the minus 3, and we take our negative 1 on the other side. Thank you.